Now to create the front end Fury, I'll be using our template. Go to View, then Common Palette, and I'll use this Fury Open Application Generator. I have installed certain extension of VS Code, and if you are running or doing the development in Business Application Studio, then you might not need those uh, additional extension. It will be all out of the box you'll get. So let's start with the template called List Report Page. Select this one. Click on Next. Now the data source will be selecting with the user local cap project because the Fury application will be using the current application cap application as a O data service. So use local cap project. By default, it will take the root folder name called Animal Adopt followed by the O data service. I have to select it. Okay, if you find this no data available, uh, then what you can do, you can just you know click on close this entire application. Close VS Code and uh, reload this application. Okay, and now the door data service it has two uh, services. One is called adopter service. The other one is the admin service. I'll select the adopter service as of now and click on next. The main entity is of course the animals that will show as a list report. Uh, check this yes button uh, and then click on next. The project name I want to say as adopter application. Let's say adoption application and now we'll go for namespace you can put in as a namespace here i want to select no as for fury launchpad configuration and also final the config uh, advanced options no so click on finish it will take certain time to depend uh, to you know install certain dependencies and finally everything ready then we'll see this kind of uh, interface and now i can click on the preview application or i can simply run series watch now, if I go to this application, it will now give this kind of an interface or I'll see this adopter app. It is available now. So click on that and it will take from the cache, uh, the user ID details. And now it will definitely show the data. But as we have not added any Fury uh, annotations yet, and it is not able to render all the columns, we can select manually for the time being and i don't need to show id and click on ok uh, now give click on go voila all the data are coming so the interface is able to connect with the backend cap service now let's will create certain annotations and make this ui a little more elegant now to add the annotations we'll click on this adapter and right click called show page map and you'll see this kind of an interface so let's minimize this section and expand this part click on pencil icon and let's add certain filter fields to select the data kind of or filter that filter out the data click on plus and click on add field uh, filter fields let's add something called the status it's only i want to add adoption status uh, health status code uh, let's say this two i want to add or also take the spaces code okay let's take three as our filter click on add all three added and my server is automatically restarted and you can see things are now appearing over here the name the labels to be corrected and also but the data are coming all good all right so what i what i want to do i want to make it a little bit of drop down instead of kind of a, this value help okay let's see how we can do it through our uh, page map interface so first of all, go here and change the labels for adoption status for internationalization. I will click this icon and click on apply. So that way IHT9 uh, files will be updated and uh, you will see now it's changed. Similar way, let's change this other two uh, filter labels as well. So all three labels currently updated by the way it doesn't reflect well that because i possibly need to stop it once again and uh, restart the server let's once again run serious watch yeah now it's reflecting so let's change this all value help into a drop down for that again go back to our page map interface let's go to adoption status first okay and the value help 
should be the parallel so that this kind of pop up appears. Now let's change this code to name and values for clip and apply. Let's see like how it changes, right? I'm expecting it will become a drop down now and it's working pretty well. Correct? Adopted, available, and pending. Now go for the health status and the display type. Let's change to value help. And here I can put the value source name as uh, name and the value description. Let's put it as a code. And text arrangement, you can put it as a text last. Let's see apply. Now you can see I am able to show the code as well and the right of this description. So that way you can also change if you wish to. Here I don't see the code, but here I also showing the internal code. Okay, it depends on your requirement. You can play around with the annotation. So let's add certain columns now. So click on this table and let's want, I want to change something over here. First of all, initial load I have selected as enabled and the type I have selected as responsive table selection mode. I want to see uh, select it as none so that I cannot select individual record. And now let's go to a uh, column plus icon and click on the basic columns. And here I want to add all the properties of the animal entity. I want to start with the display name first. Then I want to show health status code. I want to show breed, age, and finally adoption status. All right. So click on add. And now if I go to yeah, all, all coming correctly, all the labels needs to be changed for display name and the breed and age. So let's little bit correct on display name as simply I'll put it as name. Click on this icon to make it IATN updated. Hopefully now it will be all coming correctly as I expect. Now what I'll do for the health status, I want to make it a little bit. So go to the health status and here in the criticality section, I want to put it as to add the health criticality and criticality representation. I want to put as with icon. Okay, so let's now see the changes. Yeah, now it reflects report attention are yellow, healthies are all green, and critical all red. Looks a little more better now, but health status little bit change the column size. Okay. Let's put all 160. What will happen if I change all? So I'll add it and final look. Yeah, it looks more compact now with all the information and the labels all coming correctly. So let's change the adoption status as let's say adopted. You can go. No data makes sense because all data are available data. So obviously if I select and go for available, yeah, all data coming back. So what next action should be to put that add up kind of a action button and we'll use again annotations for that. So before we add the add up button, let's correct the detail page now. So for that, we'll go to page map once again and now click on this page map and now click on object page and click on edit. Go to header section here in the title let's put something called display name description type it's the property and i want to add the property let's say breed okay so now go back to our application let's click on here Awesome. Now it's coming all the correct information that I am interested. So now I'll add two kind of a section. One will be the animal related thing and the below will be having the adopters details. Similarly, let's go to the 
section click on class click on add form section you can put simple say details click on this icon and click on add so one is added then in this form uh, I just want to add some fields obviously I want to add I need a health status code I need the breed I need the age I need the adoption status and spaces code click on add and now if I go here exactly all coming up quite well go back and check other anything it is it is coming quite well here as well if you want we can change the little bit on the health status representation by adding the criticality as like we did before and here i want to put with icon okay so that it looks a little bit uh interesting because it's all about health so make it a little bit emphasized with certain icons and etc all good so now we have to add the next section called the adopter details so go to a section and click on class and add a form section call it adopter details we don't have any adopter data as of now so it will be empty but let's create the container section okay and in the form uh, we want to add the fields here we want to add by the way i don't see the adapter information because i didn't expose that entity right so that a mistake so let's go here and check our schema quickly not schema rather service areas and here let's expose entity will be adding adapters All right and let's click on save all now click on last button and i can see the adapter details now i want to add address email and name and phone okay so these are all the properties that i want to add so let's take the name as the first one followed by address then email and then phone okay obviously this level i can spend time to update it nicely but with the interest of time i will not do all changes now let's just see how it appears now in the screen level and yeah it's coming out of the details but as i said no data we have so everything is empty and we'll be creating everything uh, while we you know adopt uh, via some custom code so let's uh, go back to our annotation site and add the adoption or other adapt button action button thanks for watching hope the discussion was helpful for you and shortly i'll connect to the next episode till then goodbye